What's up, you jizz bags? Aw, shit. Clutch MC back. Um, to do part seven. Um, now it's been over two years since I did one of these. Uh, actually, two years and three months to be exact. And, uh, I was reading some of the comments and, uh, guy or girl by the name of Game Nerdify said, do part seven already. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do part seven. I just broke a hundred thousand gamer score today. I was playing Mafia 2 and I did it today. And I told myself I was going to retire the 360 once I did that, which I probably will. And finally break, uh, fall in and get an Xbox One. Anyways, let's jump right into this, because uh, you know me, I'm going to do this in one shot. No edits, no fucking breaks. Let's just go. Uh, most of these games that I've been playing um, have been, uh, you know, the free ones they give out. Uh, Deadlight, great little game, fucking zombie survival game. Uh, I completed it, 30 out of 30. Uh, nothing really to talk about there. Uh, Sleeping Dogs, the other free game. This is what, I, this, I took a lot of time off when I wasn't even playing, and this was the game that kind of got me back in the groove. Um, did every achievement, including the DLC. Uh, hardest one would probably have been complete all 100% of missions, cases, favors, jobs, etc. Um, believe me when I tell you, that took a fucking long ass time. I mean, that's getting gold rankings. Or no, 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 the, the pure gold. I'm sorry, the next one over. That one was even harder. Getting pure gold, getting gold stat on every single award. Um, yeah, that was tough. Spartacus, I don't know if it was free or not, but I don't know. It was a shitty game. I didn't like it. Uh, Dust. Oh, God. Fucking great game. Uh, it was free. Um, awesome fucking game. I made this game my bitch. I mean, I grinded face on this shit. Um, got every achievement. Did the 1,000-hit combo. Um, beat it on the hardest setting. Yeah, I got a four-star rating on every challenge uh, on every yeah, challenge arena. Those was tough. Trust me. And the hang finding all the uh, 12 friends. That was all the Easter egg characters that were in other Microsoft Studio titles. That was fun. Good fucking game. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Anyways, I just went and got my CDL Class A commercial driver's license, uh, and it wasn't easy. Um, a lot of guys failed. Their first, I failed my first time, I, and then I knocked it out of the park the second time. There's some guys that one guy gave up, uh, another two did three times and failed, and I don't even know what happened to them, but... Um, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be driving a mini a fucking trucker. Got to come up with a trucker name. Different from my Clutch MC gamer tag. But yeah, I'll be driving a manual 10-speed 70-foot rig tractor trailer. It's fucking crazy. That's a real fucking... I mean, just starting out, base salary right out of school, you're making 50000 60000 a year. So I'm going to be working a lot, 12-hour days. Uh, Bob, I landed a local job here. I start June 2nd. But enough about that retarded shit. Uh, Devil May Cry. This would be the fifth Devil May Cry. Great game. I, I've always loved Devil May Cry. I love 4 especially. Like I said, I put like 400 hours in Devil May Cry 4. I absolutely loved it. This one I didn't get into so much. Um, I don't know. You know, you got to really dedicate to those hack and slashes to get those really crazy achievements. Max Payne 3, Rockstar game. You know, I didn't really like it. Probably because I beat the game on hard. And they didn't give me the achievement for hard. And I didn't fucking ever switch the difficulty. I beat the game on hard. And they gave me the beat the game on medium. So I said, fuck that. I'm not going to touch that shit again. Castlevania. I thought I went over these. Double Dragon. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Hit Hitman. Another free game again. Fucking crushed it. 46 out of 46. Um, I know this is a really popular franchise. I It's actually the only Hitman game I've ever played. Everyone's like, whoa, you didn't play Blood Money? Fucking, yeah. Stop crying. Uh, this was amazing. Uh, and I'm not even a big stealth game guy, but this was the shit. And I fucking said, went ahead and did everything. Did all the 100 challenges. Uh, a lot of these were hard. Did the 20 play styles. That was hard. I had to look those up. Get all the evidence. And then beat it on professional. Fun stuff. 
<clears throat> Present Evil. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, actually, I got it for like five bucks, or it was like five or six dollars, and and the guy uh, gave me this shit-eating grin, you know, when I bought it. I'm like, I know, and he's like, No, you don't know. It's bad, and it fucking wow, what a disaster, what a fucking pile of shit. I, I think I only did one of the uh, the uh, <coughs> campaigns. Uh, anyway, oh, World Series of Poker, Full House Pro. This was fun as shit, dude. And to, to get every achievement on this game, and I only spent twenty dollars in chips. I mean, you got to be a fucking poker fucking all star, which I am. Um, these achievements are insanely hard to get. These top fucking like buy a T-bone steak at a million chip or higher buy-in table. Like this is cutthroat, ruthless fucking those those big stack high baller guys. We'll fucking put you in for two million with nothing. Like seven deuce offsuit. They don't give a shit. And they'll make you fold fucking half million and million in chips. Just because, I mean, I got my stack up to 15 million and I was ranked like in the top 100 for this game. And I played the fuck out of it. Um, moving on. Charlie Murder, another free game. I did all the achievement is except find all the relics. You know, I should do that. It was a fun game, though. I mean, the multiplayer was fucked up. I kept it freeze like a motherfucker. Dishonored. What a great, brilliant fucking game. I say fucking a lot. <sighs> fucking jizz bag. Fucking cunt. <laughs> um, yeah, I did some tough ones here. Uh, beat the game without alerting anybody. Beat the game without killing anybody. Beat the game without alerting and only killing the T targets. I mean, these are tough. These were fun. A lot of unique achievements in this game. That's what I look for in games. Not the same old stupid bullshit. <coughs> um, yeah, but yeah. I did a lot of those. I didn't buy any of the DLC in that game, though. But I almost got a 1,000 gamer score. Let's see. Dead Space 3, I'm brilliant. Oh, I fucking love these games. I'm not really going to go over because I didn't really do much with this. Ooh, Darksiders 2. Another free game, man. They're giving out some good free game. Well, and luckily, none of these I had bought. In, so almost every game they put out, I'm like, hell yeah. Um, I didn't think I did anything too crazy. I mean, I did put in some fucking work. A lot of work. I probably got a couple hundred hours in this game and only got 40 achievements, so... Uh, let's see. Battle Block, another free game. It's kind of fun. Didn't really get into it. Red Faction. Oh, what a pile of shit. You know, one of my favorite games of all time was Red Faction 2. It wasn't ever online. It was an Xbox, regular Xbox game and four player split screen. And it was, but this, this new one was open world. It wasn't even, it was like rated T for teen. It was shit. I could not get into it. Wolf Among Us. Oh, that's. One of those point-and-click games, whatever the fuck you call them, um, I did them all, all the achievements. It was fun. It was like watching a fucking interactive movie. Those are those are cool. Oh, yeah, there's the 100,068. That's a fucking or a 10-year-old gamer tag, too. All right, let's wrap this up. Motocross Madness. I don't even really. It's another free game, you know. I just played it. That I did about two hours in that game and got 25 achievements. So whatever. Same with MX versus ATV. Another free fucking game. Um. Ooh, Saints Row Four. Wow, one of the my favorite. Dude, this is one of the best sandbox games ever created. I don't give a fuck. The way you become into a superhero and you're in the Matrix and you can just free run. I mean, there's no point in even getting in vehicles because you're a fucking... A free running... You can leap over buildings better than Superman. You can fucking fly and shit. Well, not, like, completely fly, but... Free fly, but you can pretty much fly in this game. Um, just all the, uh, the cameo appearances and... 
and just the, the the whole feel for the game was just hilarious. All the uh, the funny shit that went on. How you could bang anybody in your crew, celebrities in this game, and the weaponry and you know, the dubstep gun. And oh, man, if even if you're not into fucking sandbox games, like because I kind of grew out of them, I didn't really like them for a while. This one, you're never bored. It's it's just fun, fun, fucking fun. Oh, here, this is what, I played this game for 10 months, it didn't even last a year. Um, I put more time, this was my second favorite uh, multiplayer experience I've ever had in my entire life. I was the leader of the ranked, two, number two ranked clan in the world, in our region, in the North American region, yes, our name was Team Legends. We dominated the co-op leaderboards, um, and we had a pretty decent versus uh, clan. We were, everybody knew who we are. I've put more time in this game, than, than, and if you're wondering what my, my favorite multiplayer experience is, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, that was from 2003, but that's unforgettable. But the, just the community and the people I met on this game, uh, I mean unforgettable experience. One of the coolest things I've ever done in video games was playing Warface. I was spending a lot of money on, on this game, and they took it away from us. I was fucking devastated. It legitimately felt like, like a close family member died when they closed this game down and you can't even play it anymore. We were ranked number two in the North American realm. That's hardcore fucking grinding. As a matter of fact, I've picked screenshots of us on the leaderboards, and I'll fucking put them on the end of this video. Ooh, the Resident Evil Remastered. Wow, is this 12 minutes already? Shit. Fucking amazing. I mean, this is nostalgia right here. I think it was 14 years old, uh, and this came out in 96. Give you an idea of how old I am. Uh, the original Resident Evil Remastered. Fucking amazing. Now, you younger kids are probably couldn't even play this game because it's, you know, you can only save using ink ribbons, and I'm sure you're familiar with Resident Evil, well, how it used to be. Um, and I did some hard-ass achievements, like, here, beat the game in three hours, beat the game in real survival mode. Um, I did almost everything. Obtaining um, the grenade launcher... Finish the game in five hours. Okay, yeah, yeah. Finish the game on hard. Yeah, I did on every difficulty. The only... I don't think the one I didn't do yet is... Yes, finish the game using only your knife. And that's everything. The the bosses and everything. The knife achievement. And, and I thought that was almost impossible. And i seen all these videos of these guys doing it. And you gotta be a fucking professional Resident Evil player to even think about attempting that <clears throat> attempting that achievement and I'm pretty sure I got what it takes beat the game with only enough I will do that fucking I will do that before I retire the 360 it's one of the greatest fucking I mean it, it, it that's the that spawned survival horror games I mean that is the essential game that created that genre is this this game right here? I mean, I'm sure there's ones before it, but that like stamped it in, you know. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five, you know, I, I don't know. It's fucking amazing. I just game's so big. I never played the multiplayer though. I mean, there's people that still play this fucking community in this game is still massive. Sniper Elite version two, good game, another free game. These are all free. I played Tomb Raider. Really good, really good. Um, as a matter of fact, I did some pretty tough achievements. Yeah, all challenges complete. Um, collected all the documents, relic, relics, GPS. I did all those tedious achievements. Gears of Wow, oh, what a fucking shit pile of shit. I'll never play a Gears game again. I'm not even going to talk about that. Here, Wolfenstein, The New Order. Fucking sweet. Um, for the most part, this is a game where you can get every achievement. Um, I did beat the game on Uber. I didn't. I, I did every level on Uber. I didn't just play the last level and cheat the achievement. 
I mean, too, another free game. Um, I'm sure all you gold people know these free games. Uh, beat the game on Insane, and uh, that's about it. Trials, oh my god, what a fucking hard, ridiculous hard game. Um, yeah, I got a lot of work on that. Holy shit, this is what I just finished. I just finished Assassin's Creed 4. I think I'm going to put this game down. I did 100% of all mission constraints. That is some f that is some hard work right there. That's fucking yeah. Let's let's game. That's like 200 hours of gaming. Maybe not that much, but oh, beat all the legendary ships. That was fun as fuck. Fully upgrade the Jackda. Yeah, but right there by the book. Whew. Proud of that one there. And uh, this is the last game I played. I was playing this, and I think this is the achievement. I got the thousand. Uh, which one? I don't know. These are. This is a really fun.